Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Pete Lavelle, the Crazy Commissioner, coming to you. I'm having my uh, cup of joe, and the boys are off to school, and uh, it's actually rather quiet around the house now, so I kind of make a joke about it when my wife is off, and I have to talk to her. Um, but uh, I was having a conversation with my sons this morning, and we were talking about uh, the passcode. Um, so my question to you is, does your units or do your units have passcodes um, to have that added layer of uh, safety and protection for the youth that we serve. Um, having that discussion, uh, I was asking my boys, you know, if somebody comes up to you in a car or they try to get you close to a car and they start asking questions, or, or your father needs you or your mom needs you, that, you know, they need to ask for the passcode. And if they don't have that passcode, you know, they need to yell fire. And I'd rather deal with the authorities because my children are yelling fire and have the firemen show up and make sure that the predator is gone, nowhere to be seen, whatever. But you yell fire, and it's going to draw a lot of attention. I'd rather deal with that than have to deal with a tragedy. Um, so I'm just going to fill you in on a little story. We were on a road trip uh, back in August, and we were at a rest stop. And as a parent, you know, it's, it's really mind-boggling, you know, with what happened. I still have the man's face and what he wore and everything else, I mean, burned into my memory. Um, my son was in the bathroom. I just finished washing my hands. He was in a stall. He was relieving himself. And my son's 14. You know, and I stepped out just for, uh, just for maybe no longer than a minute. There was a map right outside the bathroom. So I was looking at the map where we were and everything. And then I came back in. And this man was peering in on my son while my son was on a toilet. So, of course, me being parent, yo, yo, what's going on? And the man said, oh, oh your son was asking for help. So the man went over toward the urinal. So I leaned over to my son. Like, Are you okay? I'm, I'm, I leaned in the stall. Are you okay? What's going on? He said, like, I don't know what you're talking about. A matter like that, the man was gone. Um, so I went outside and, and of course... My family's seen uh, an old side of me and some choice words. Um, and I went to the staff. We couldn't find a guy. He disappeared. We don't know where he went. So, you know, the, having that added protection, you know, with a passcode. And I know we, we all take youth protection. And I know we do sign documents on who can and who cannot take children. Um, and I'm not an expert at this, but, you know, I think just adding that little extra layer of having a unit passcode or a unit password and training our youth uh, and, and actually maybe having our parents basically have these particular meetings as well or maybe like or a round table or something to have an expert to come in and talk about these things. So, um, so that's just my little uh, thought for the day. Everybody have a good one. Carpe diem. Attitude reflects leadership. And I'll talk to you all soon. Hey everyone, stay informed. Follow me on Facebook at Crazy Commissioner, also on Instagram at Crazy Commissioner, Twitter at Crazy Commission, and also for those that do not uh, have social media or you know someone that may not use social media, we also have uh, a phone app. Uh, it's called B A N D Band. It's an app that's for both Android and iPhone, and you can search up Roosevelt District Roundtable. Everyone, thank you very much. I look forward to a prosperous year with you all.